Okay, we're recording. So uh, today we're doing artwork inspired by the artist Cedric, Cedric Michael Cox. So we're going to start by making some, just some big uh, organic shapes. So you just kind of want to flow, kind of free form. You want to have the shapes. They can overlap a little bit. I'm just going to kind of have some that, that are very, it's very like almost like either music like or plant like. I just kind of got these curves here. I can do some things. Let's see. I'm going to have one that kind of crosses over into this and comes up. So I'm going to kind of fill my page with all of these different uh, shapes. So you can see mine are kind of like leaf like shapes, a lot of them. Some of them come behind, some of them cross over. Uh, let's do one more down here. So you can, uh, like I highly encourage you to kind of just do your own thing with this. You don't have to exactly do what I do. And I got some that are crossing into each other. That kind of creates a, a neat juxtaposition, a neat uh, thing where different ones kind of have different little parts. So, and it also creates a thing called movement. Um, if you look at Cedric Michael Cox's artwork, it had a lot, they had a lot of movement in them. So I've got different lines going lots of different directions. Um, and then I can even add like some patterns in certain parts if I want to. Uh, let's see. So you can get as detailed as you like here. You don't quite have to get as detailed as I'm getting right here, but if you want to, you can. Um, so once I've got this done, I'm gonna pick a color scheme. So my color scheme that I picked is five colors. Wanna, uh, you don't want to have more than like five colors. So I picked uh, three colors that are that kind of blend together that are next to each other on the color wheel. So pink is like a red. Uh, purple has red in it. And then I picked some colors that would stand out against those. So Yellow is across from purple on the color wheel, so they kind of uh, juxtapose each other. They're kind of different from each other. They're complementary colors. And so is green with red. So then at this point, what I can do is just, I could pick one and go one at a time and just start coloring in different parts. One of the colors, I could pick, um, I could just go through and put dots in each area and then color them in to kind of figure out my color scheme. One thing you want to do for sure is figure out which color you want your background to be. So I think I'm going to choose the purple for my background because that's one of the complementary colors. And then what I would do is just kind of go around the outside edge of everything. And like I said, you want to fill your page. You don't want much white space. So I'm going around the edge of everything. And then once I get around the edge, then I color in my background. So everything inside of this will be the other colors. And if I wanted to, I could color in an area of purple, just kind of make it stand out that's inside. But I'm doing the background right now. So I'm just kind of going around. And notice how I move my paper. Um, that's something artists do a lot to just kind of get clean lines is rotating your paper around especially when you're adding color to an artwork it's a very easy way to get clean lines without like hunching over your paper so now that I've gone around the edge I can just kind of color the edge and what I like to do if I'm trying to color the whole paper is I like to also go around the outside edge so I'm going to do that if you want to outline your um, all your lines like with black or something like that you could do that before you color everything in um, but I kind of find that Cedric doesn't really do that he doesn't really have um, black outlines so that way the colors kind of 
that way the colors stand out against each other it's more about the color than about the lines it's more about the shapes than about the lines and then I would color in this background um, so I'm gonna stop right here and just kind of show you how how I might lay this out so maybe I decide I'm gonna do uh, pink so maybe I, I start doing around the edges of the shapes that I think I'm gonna do pink so I'm kind of spreading them out. So we can do any shape. Uh, yeah, you could do. You want to try to do something that's that's uh, kind of organic, that that kind of yeah. that kind of has movement to it. Um, but you want to have the shapes fill your page. Um, so they can be something like mine doesn't really look like anything in particular. Like this doesn't really look like a like it kind of's got some leaf quality to it, but it doesn't really like look like a flower. If you wanted it to look like a flower, it could look like a flower, but but not like a real flower. More like like a flower that's just made out of flowing shapes. If if that makes any sense. So I can draw this out of black and blue. Um, yeah, but I would use more colors than just black and blue. I would maybe use black blue purple and green or maybe black blue orange and um, and purple and even yellow and you, you don't have to use um, and you don't have to have like everything uh, like balanced as far as the colors like if, if you had black blue purple and yellow uh, maybe you just got a little bit of yellow or maybe your backgrounds yellow and maybe you just got a little bit of the black in a couple areas okay so it just depends um, and you're the artist you'll make up the choice so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here